Okay, hello everyone, George Webb here. And you can see that I'm in front of the Idaho National Laboratories. This is where all of our submarine nuclear reactors were created, the small nuclear reactors. Small nuclear reactors are gonna be pretty important in our future, and we'll tell you why. Not only do the small reactors here, and there's about 20 or 30 different sites in this vast area in Idaho here, this vast area where there's different experimental reactors. The first uh, breeder reactor is right over there, uh, created right over there in Arco. This is a reactor that makes its own fuel, with making new plutonium. And most of the plutonium bombs that were created by Russia and the United States both came from breeder type reactors. So it's an important technology. It's a strategic technology. It's also a technology that depends on, uh, it has a big effect on national security. And we have this huge dividend from the Cold War of these 20,000 missiles. Remember megatons to megawatts coming to the United States? Remember all this was supposed to get to Piketon, Ohio? Remember it was all supposed to get to Paducah, Kentucky? Remember how it fell off the truck? Remember how it never got there? Remember how the Ukrainians took their piece, the Kazakhstanis took their piece, and it never really got here? Kolomoisky seemed to have his hands all over this stuff. Well, that's the stuff. That's the stuff, literally, that dreams are made of. That's the stuff that dreams are made of because that's the future. The future is AI and there is no way, there's no way to power the AI servers of the future. There's no way to power the AI data centers of the future without small modular reactors. And without small modular reactors, and they're being tested right here, right now, Oklo is one of the companies, OKLO. Without those reactors, with this new experimental technology, without those reactors, you don't get the data centers of the future. You don't get the Stargates of the future. You don't get the uh, Google Deep Minds of the future. You don't get the uh, huge uh, Cyclops computer in Memphis, Tennessee. You don't get all the future NVIDIA and all the future other uh, iterations like AMD and so forth. You don't get any of that without the technology that's being tested and tried right here, right now. It shows you that our reporting going all the way back to megatons to megawatts and the missing uranium becomes incredibly strategically important, not for war, not for war anymore, not for the Cold War, but incredibly important for the future of our economy. The DARPA technology being moved across from the military world into the commercial world to make billionaires of the future.